Hi and welcome to the channel. I'm Luna Nix. And I'm Maven Gray. Hi everyone, welcome to the reading. Our question today is what's coming in the next three months? So today we've chosen to work with the Psychic Tarot cards, we're working with the Moonology cards and we're working with the Oracle of Shadows and Light as well as crystals and charms as always. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and that'll keep you in touch with all of our readings. We've got three groups for you to choose from. Go with the one that calls out to you first because it's most likely to have more messages that are relevant for you at this time. I'll give you a moment to choose between group one, two or three. Hi group one, the crystal you chose is Howlite. This crystal encourages us to enjoy life more, not to take ourselves too seriously. Um, it does suggest that you have a lot going on, that you may have some attachments that you need to get rid of, some even maybe some old things that are still maybe draining you energetically. It's just being more aware of your energy really and all the things that you've got going on. This may be causing you not to be able to sleep very well or just feeling very tired because you do have a lot of stresses going on, maybe some anxiety. And these things can happen even when good things are happening. We can still get very anxious and overwhelmed. So this crystal helps to calm an overactive mind if you're thinking about a lot of things or you're worrying about a lot of things so that you can work towards increasing peace and patience. So it does suggest that you need more grounding, you need more maybe mindfulness, meditative type times and just times to step back and cool rather than constantly being on the go. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be a busy three months for you guys in Group 1. I think overwhelmed's the word because we can be overwhelmed when we've got lots of opportunities coming our way and it's good or lots of people want to see you and that's lovely, especially as um, sort of lockdown restrictions are opening up. Um, certainly in the UK, I don't know what, what what's happening for you or if you're watching this another time, but this is during um, the Covid situation. Um, but lockdown things are lifting. I wonder if there's just like lots of people who want to see you or you're going to get lots of opportunities with work or um, it just feels a little bit overwhelming. I think you're going to have to be a little bit more assertive as to saying no to people or having to turn away opportunities that you think, oh, that's such a good opportunity. And, I, you know, I think you just have to be a little bit more careful as to where you're spending your energy because I think it's going to then start affecting and how grounded you feel and um, how secure and safe you feel because I think anxiety was mentioned um, from Raven and the Crystal. I think you, you're in danger of maybe getting, um, suffer, if you already suffer a bit from anxiety, you might be in danger of it affecting your anxiety. It could be um, that your physical health could get affected by just being overwhelmed so it's not necessarily a bad thing although you know it could be lots of just stresses that are happening um, or it could be a mixture of some stresses some good but either way I think there's a lot going to happen in the next three months for you and it's just a case of making sure you're staying grounded you don't want to lose sleep you don't want to um, get affected physically by it so just making sure you're looking after yourself and seeing no when needed it seems like it's more a material mundane base so we're talking work money uh, physical health especially it may even be a literal with the base chakra root chakra being there about the lower half of your body your legs so make sure you are looking after that part of your body especially if you already suffer with things to do with your legs that could also be linked to diabetes um, because that can impact your feet a lot but as Luna said, it could be that it feels like in some people's cases, 
something you've been waiting for could indeed start to give you some reward, could start mm -hmm. to show you some results that you've been wanting. This is, like I say, in some people's cases, what you've wanted. But it may be that when it actually does arrive, it can be a little bit much. Mm -hmm. And But I think through grounding, through being mindful, through making sure you, you are gaining that balance, you should be fine it's just being really honest with yourself and thinking even though i'm really enjoying myself or this is exactly what i wanted to happen or you know i'm busy i'm successful it still doesn't mean that you have to say yes to everything or you have to take every opportunity mm -hmm. or every client you can still assert yourself and mm -hmm. say oh i'm too busy at the moment or you know i'm gonna have to you have to wait a bit longer because i've just mm -hmm. got too much going on at the moment and you really, really must not waver from that. So set some boundaries with yourself, with others. Maybe even a plan, you know, if X happens, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. If I'm too busy with this, then I'm going to say no to this, you know, so that you know exactly what to do and you can stick to that instead of being tempted. Because especially when it comes to business with money, you can think, well, it's money, you know, over time, well, you know, it's extra cash and... I need it, I want it, but down the line, you've got to remember what it's going to do in a longer term, what impact it's going to have on you. So is it is it worth short term stress, anxiety, discomfort, maybe physical tiredness or problems for you to have that money? That's got to be a personal choice. It could also be that, um, I think Luna mentioned about having lots of people wanting to spend time with you or it may feel like people are expecting a lot from you mm -hmm. that you may feel inundated with with burden or it could be in a good way as we say with with business and things but also in a not so good way that as sometimes when you gain success when you gain good things happening in your life when you finally manifest something you've wanted there's always going to be someone unfortunately that isn't able to be happy for you possibly because they're not happy themselves or because they're jealous or they're wanting that just be aware of the not so nice energies mm -hmm. coming towards you and especially if you are very sensitive to energy if you're around someone regularly that even if they don't openly but they send you kind of a vibe of of jealousy or negativity and that could be why you're you're doubly tired why you're feeling extra um burdened and, and stressed because actually they're kind of sending you vibes that aren't so nice so make sure you're, you're cleansing regularly remember that i said about attachments you could have an attachment to someone who's really quite not very good for you so do a cord cutting ritual or spell we can do one for you if you want just check out our website or just regularly using cleansing incense or crystals so that you can such as the how likes it came up so that you can always make sure you are ridding yourself of that. You're not constantly having that energy feed into you as it seems even at night when you're sleeping because you're not able to let go. And letting go is important because if you have, if you're a bit of a workaholic or you're just very busy or always on the go, maybe you find it difficult to switch off at night. So a really good nighttime routine of calm, peace, um, like I say, grounding, meditation, something like that. Something that just makes you feel really chilled out, you, you must do. Turn off your phone or at least don't go on social media or your emails or something after a certain time and, and gift yourself that time of relaxation so that you are able to settle down and sleep properly. So we've got two kind of new beginnings, take action, um go for it kind of numerology cause which is quite interesting it could link in with that feeling of overwhelmed and lots going on because it could be that something's actually just kicking off that you've been working on for a while you know if you've been trying to start a new business and then all of a sudden it all starts happening and now's the action time of kind of going with it it could feel overwhelming and that's how it might relate to you it could be something entirely different i mean in general i mean the Aries is around, it's quite a masculine energy, it could be a new uh, masculine energy in your life or a masculine person in your life who um, is going to be quite dominating, it could be a masculine energy you need to cut cords with in order to move forward and 
um, keep going because the North Node, you want to detach anything that's holding you back from your past so you can walk forward with more confidence and a more clean slate. Same as a new moon, really. They're very relational, these two cards. So it's, it's time to stand on your own two feet in some way in the next three months. Maybe you're going to just be forced to make more decisions on your own. Maybe you're just going to feel like you are ready to make decisions on your own that are based on your needs. If you've been working on boundary setting, or it could be that you are able to set a boundary with someone, because I feel like you guys find it really hard to say no to people. So what we're suggesting in the next three months is that you might have to use that word a few times in order to protect yourself. So you've, you've got this, you know, you're going to ask yourself, once you start saying no to people and setting those boundaries, you're going to be like, why did I wait so long? This is actually not too bad. Um, it could be actually with the new moon in Aries. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. So when we come across a new moon in Aries, it's a really good plan, like planning time, setting goals, intentions, like a 12 month plan. If you think it's the start of the zodiac year, it could be worth you sitting down in the next three months and putting together a bit of a three year plan. Um, you can maybe expect to feel a little bit more determined, a little bit more confident, a little bit more assertive. And you can expect to put some boundaries in place that you've been hoping to do and hoping to feel ready to do for a while. I think you're going to find that in you somewhere to just go for that. Your shadows and light oracle reiterate quite a lot of what we've already said. It definitely suggests there's a need to clear your energy fields. There could be some jealousy, envy, fear, guilt there, either within yourself or within it in others mm -hmm. i think it, the message there is if you've been waiting for something to happen and you then are the, you are the person who is getting jealous and envious of other people this is asking you to really clear that to work mm -hmm. on your shadow side and why that triggers you or why you feel that way and why you can't be happy for other people and know surrender to the divine and know it's going to happen for you because actually it does seem like it will happen in the next three months if you clear that energy mm -hmm. you're almost putting kind of a stop or a stagnancy on that because whether you mean it to be or not it comes across as an ungrateful energy for want of a better word because you're lacking you're wanting rather than having an abundance mm -hmm. so work on that work on clearing any ill feelings you have towards others or towards whatever it is you want to bring in you know if you want money but you have a negative mindset about money that's a conflicting energy so limiting beliefs is a good thing to work on just lots of um you know negative ideas about whatever it is that you want to bring in it also suggests that you especially once you start doing that you're you need to look out for synchronicities for signs you know when in your tarot you had lots of ones and sevens so i don't know if you have already started seeing those or if that's something you need to look out for when you're doing something if you get a little bit of a feeling of deja vu or um you know, a sound in your ear or you just have this feeling look at the clock and check out those different times and look them up um just put the number angel number and it should come up on online um and that will, will tell you if you're on the right track if you're thinking the right way you know it's an encouragement sometimes it's a discouragement and that will keep you on track if you're not sure it also suggests that you do maybe have a relationship or situation that isn't so good for you at the moment and that's also kind of stopping you from fully embracing your potential who you are moving forward and so really look at you know we had temperance there with your tarot so it is about relationships but it's also about um, especially when we're talking about physical health as well how your habits, how your lifestyle, even work itself is impacting on your health, especially physically, but in other ways too. Mm -hmm. And are there things that you need to distance yourself from? Where do you need to gain that balance? Where do you need to step back? Even cut it away completely. There's something or someone who isn't so good for you at the moment. It could be to do with your dream itself or your career or whatever it is you want to do. And again, like I said, unfortunately, not everyone's going to be happy for you or act very supportive. And so it could be worth, especially if you know exactly who I'm talking about, 
kind of not really talking to them about your dreams, your plans. You know, Luna said about doing a, a 12 month plan, which I think is a really good idea. Uh, but maybe not talking to that particular person or people about that. Find someone who is more likely to be supportive and happy for you rather than mm -hmm. someone who's going to put you down or tell you straight away, well, oh, that's silly, you don't want to do that. You know what I mean? There's always people like that for some reason that like to put a dampener on things. So be really picky about who you share your thoughts, feelings with because they could actually be kind of putting you off. And this is especially true because not only did you have that, but Carly is there as well, which is a total, it's like the death card really, mm -hmm. where there's a need for a complete um, transformation, which is interesting with you getting a lot of ones there and sevens actually, because they're both the kind of awakening, ascension. So there could be a spiritual aspect there, but I think that what you choose to do in the next three months could really push you forward in your in your life um but you've got to choose kind of have the responsibility to, to kind of do these things to see what's working and what isn't and be prepared to leave the old behind and embrace this new i think that's interesting because you know i did mention about maybe getting in your own way and and that's true it, even no matter how much you want something if you haven't energetically got yourself to that place it's it's less likely to come in or it's just going to take a lot longer it's going to be a lot harder because mm -hmm. you don't feel like you deserve it or you're just not in the right place to receive it or you may not even notice that opportunity that seems to be in the next three months lots of opportunities could come up for you or maybe you just find it difficult to choose the right one and that comes again with needing to to work on your intuition and your self-esteem because you're more likely to go towards the one that isn't so good for you or the easy one or seemingly easy. It won't be long term, but do you know what I mean? You're, you're less likely to choose wisely, as said in your cards, because of limiting beliefs, because of what you've been made to feel like, what you feel like you deserve. So working on all these things will get you in the right mindset to think, well, yeah, I know I got to go for that one because that's going to be the best option for me, especially long term. So it could also be that you have been going through a transformation of some sort. It could be an actual death that's kind of changed your mindset about something. But this is all about really trying not to resist that change. Trying not remember death is all about change. And um, the more you resist, the, the harder it's going to come in. And a lot of this can happen so deeply on a subconscious level that it's hard to really appreciate. Why would I get in the way of money? You know, that's mm. what I want. Or why would I get in the way of finding love if that's what I want but it's surprising just how deep rooted this is so really spend some time on yourself trying to figure out what these blocks might be learn those lessons as well because sometimes there is something there that we haven't reflected on and it can be something quite simple and then once we moved on from that we can open ourselves up to these new opportunities okay so let's have a look at your charms So there'll be some letters here. Just have a look through. They could be significant to you or somebody in your life that came in your mind when we were talking about certainly sort of cord cutting or, or people who maybe aren't so good or people you're close to and you know you can trust. Let me know if there's anything in there that resonates. We've got a number one <laughs> and we've just said that you had so many ones and actually not just in your tarot but we had... Um, you know, the, the new moon in Aries, Aries is number one, the first in the zodiac. So number one's a significant number for you guys, definitely. It's all about that leadership, taking that stand, doing things for you, um, new beginnings. and Manifesting. Ma yeah, just so much from what we've said. The next three months could actually be a really significant time for starting a whole new clean slate for you in your life. If... You kind of follow our advice, I suppose. Well, not our advice, advice from spirit um, that we're interpreting for them. So, yeah, it, it seems like if you really start working on believing yourself and letting go of some blocks, etc., um, it really feels like good things are going to start really shifting and moving. You're going to really, I mean, we've got scissors there, so we've got two scissors. So, yeah, definite like 
feelings of things just to cut away from and just let yourself move forward it's almost like i've just got this image in my head of like you guys are walking forward but you've got like you know those elastic things you can put <laughs> that people have around the waist and you're like keep getting bounced back or pulled back you can only go so far and then you're kind of stuck and you just need to turn around and just cut that cord behind you and then all of a sudden you'll just like launch forward um it doesn't really feel like that for you the five being there as well i said about those changes these are changes probably that you actually have wanted that are that you've needed and you've encouraged but um it doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to be easy five being very much connected to to death like i said mm -hmm. but death in the sense of getting rid of the old the new a, a complete transformation and again as i said having that accountability to actually do something about your life or to rid yourself of things that don't work anymore it could also be that you are going to be challenged um you may need to change your perspective on something or you may feel a transformation of some kind a different perspective because of what someone else does there's also that idea of getting a plan again in place that luna mentioned it seems like you're going to be a very busy very um inundated very like we said before there's um there is a chance that you might go on holiday though so yeah, that's good i was totally just looking at the postcard and then that lovely little um is the like two sun seats and a um parasol and we've got travel, and travel. Well. so it could be like a nice beach holiday or something possibly with a partner someone you love mm -hmm. maybe it could be that you are already planning on going on some sort of break um it could be that you're visiting someone and you could end up seeing finding a new love in that way or it could mm -hmm. be that you've decided to actually go on holiday or oh, that's the plan you know in the next mm -hmm. 12 months make sure you you take some proper time off with someone that you really enjoy spending time with who makes you feel good um even or if that's just yourself that's fine too but making sure you, you do plan a holiday in in the next hopefully in the next three months you're at least book that holiday or decide when you're going to yeah. be able to do it because it does feel like you are going to be really really busy mm -hmm. i'd say generally it's really quite a positive feeling yeah i know there's obviously that death that's come up but i don't think that's literal i think that's just a death of sorts that, that's needed for you that's yeah. really making you go into this next think about of a phoenix you know you're rising up after what may have been quite a difficult um hard or just mm -hmm. meh time lately i honestly just feel like the energy with this group is like you're just going to feel in the next three months, hopefully just like a bit more kind of get up and go. Like you want to stand up for yourself more. More positive. You, yeah, you're just going to hopefully feel a bit more positive and, and you're going to like, okay, be really busy. But I don't know, I just get this feeling like you've been working on yourself or you've been trying to heal or, and it's just going to like feel like, yes, actually I'm in a place now where I feel like I'm confident to say you no. Know, it's like a new slate, clean slate, new beginnings kind of feel in a positive way. Yeah, it's definitely about that speaking up for yourself, being true to yourself, being genuine, um, and maybe using your voice, mm -hmm. like actually, mm -hmm. where it's something that mm -hmm. to do with public speaking, tarot, maybe even writing, communicating in some way. Um, showing people what you're made of I think as well mm -hmm. and, and not following the crowd either and not being led by somebody else doing what you really think you need to do and definitely that reiteration of there being some limiting beliefs from childhood from or this person that you've got to be a bit cautious about communicating mm -hmm. with too much is someone from your childhood so most likely going to be a sibling a family member a parent but it could also be that those truths need to come out that you just need to be really honest with them about how they were how they made you feel what happened whoever it is because it does really feel like you through some really good reflection through some healing um things will become more clear you'll get more clarity and you'll know exactly what you want to do but you have to do that work there could be some heart healing there especially but there's definitely something growing here. It makes mm -hmm. me think a lot of those sevens that came up as well. This is something you've already most likely planted already that you've been working on and you will start to see the, the fruits of your labour, definitely, I think. Um, but there is still a plan to do a bit, um, sorry, still a need to, like I said, a bit of a plan, a bit of calculation, making sure that you aren't taking on too much. Or I think, again, Luna mentioned it about exactly what you, you want to happen um as we said in the next year but with whatever it is it's like finding a practical plan again with that temperance actually and the base chakra um 
to fully realize your dreams you know it's okay doing um positive affirmations or a spell or a vision board which we totally recommend you do but on top of that you then have to think about the practical steps to actually making that happen mm -hmm. what can i do if anything to make sure that i get that money that career get healthy find love if you aren't actually doing the practical physical things towards making that manifest then it's less likely to happen much slower so maybe think about what you can do literally if you've got a vision board think okay what can i do to make that manifest what can i do to make that and really work towards that and i think things will start to manifest much much quicker maybe work on um look out for birds i think um again we know with those synchronicities we look out for birds and feathers particularly ravens or crows but um any birds really where you you feel like a significant time i think that is a message for the people in this group okay so that was a wonderful reading and it sounds like you're going to have a busy but hopefully really lovely three months where you just feel like you're going to overcome some of those obstacles you've been working on for a while. If you want any support regarding any of that or a more personalised reading, please do get in touch. All of our contact details are just in the description below. If you've enjoyed it, please do like the video and leave us a comment. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that will keep you in touch with all of our readings. Thank you so much for watching. I group two, the crystal you chose is carnelian. This crystal very much is connected to your sacral chakra, so that's the one on the lower abdomen. This governs creativity, uh, sexuality, passion, drive. So all these things you're more likely to feel um, <laughs> like wanting to be passionate wanting to get on with things having this desire some energy to really get on with it so maybe you've been previously feeling a bit sluggish or put off and hopefully then you'll get that injection of what you need to get on with things it could also be encouraging you to be more creative whatever that means for you or that you are going to be starting something new because you you're creating something from the ground up it is also a good indication that any stresses or that you've been feeling are going to start to be released maybe things will just be feeling a bit more easy going or things will start falling away blocks will start falling away whether that's through your own work your own effort or whether that's just generally things will just seem to flow a bit better and also whether you've been uh, working on it or maybe you, you could work on it is any like old traumas from the past or even past lives so that they're not kind of holding you back anymore mm -hmm. particularly to do with sexual trauma um and that could be something that, as I say, you've been working on or you could be working on or you may come to just a a little bit more of um, a deeper understanding of it or mm -hmm. get to a better place about it. It helps to, you know, it's, it's really warming. You think of the sun, you think of, which obviously in the Northern Hemisphere, a lot of us are in our summer months now. So maybe the sun really does help you and makes you feel more um, content and and happy. And generally, you're going to feel um, like you're releasing something. You're releasing any, like I say, trauma and stress and things like that. But just it just feels like you're um, unloading any baggage or maybe you've been working towards cutting cords or letting go of things that don't work for you anymore. Mm -hmm. It may even be that you are ending a relationship or you are deciding to quit a job you know it's an end of something at the same time that's it's something new that could be something that's already happened so then you're you're kind of then in this new phase of life of seeing how things are um and how they're going to be which on the whole feels really quite positive mm -hmm. and um really really good for you so if this is something you've already done it seems like it was the right thing to do if this is something you're thinking of doing then really think on it um, a bit deeper because it could be exactly what you need to build up that courage and confidence that you've been lacking maybe like recently yeah i certainly feel like you've been feeling quite down or quite low you're definitely going to start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and um, you're going to sort of reignite some passion inside of yourself and um, that little spark is going to come back um it could be to do with um, a partnership if you're with somebody in a, in a partnership 
it could be that that becomes just a little bit more intimate again or you just connect deeper or it could be you find somebody that makes you feel that way or it could be just sort of people around you in general you're just going to feel like your relationships are a little bit easier going you're going to I think just I get a feeling you guys have been quite down and I just think the next three months are going to feel a lot happier a lot lighter a lot more fun and it could be that you start something new completely new as well yeah something that you really care about you're passionate about something that you've maybe been meaning to but putting off like say mm -hmm. it could be that you have a sexual encounter of some kind it could be that you have decided to get to know yourself and your body a bit more deeply mm -hmm. as i said it could be that you end up doing some sort of collaboration with someone especially to do with art with creativity of some kind maybe youtube videos and that kind of thing it could be that you decide to spend a lot more time outside connecting with nature maybe looking into um i don't know just how how i don't know I've got, for some reason i've got like weather magic in my head i don't know where that came from it just mm -hmm. popped into my head okay. um it, this could especially be for people with leo placements or maybe the partner that you will you are with or you'll get with have leo placements that could be why that leo in your life is really invigorating you to get you going i think it's really important that you communicate openly honestly but obviously in a kind way about your needs it could also be that that's why you need to get to know yourself properly because it's hard to communicate that over to other people if you don't even know yourself what it is that you really want yeah so definitely get to know yourself as i say on a deeper level decide what it is that you want from life what you what you enjoy what you love what makes you happy what brightens your day and then you can communicate that over to those people that are closest to you you can make sure that your relationships are equal you can make sure that all the energy you are exchanging is equal i think mm -hmm. you will feel a lot more confident about what that is and thinking am i getting as much as i'm giving in every situation that i'm in not just relationships and if not what can i do about that it may also be that you are trying to balance out the fun and the work you know you're gaining a bit more of a better work play balance or uh, uh, even a spiritual mundane balance even but you are making sure that you are recharging at the same time as you're working you know you're making sure you're giving yourself enough time to not feel burnt out not to feel like you're only doing work or you're only or even it could be that you find i feel like purpose is something here i feel like you'll find something that will ignite some passion in you that you've like yes at last I, I found something that I really enjoy mm. that I really feel like I want to pursue that I'm really interested in and that could come through um work study or someone else maybe you'll meet someone who will really ignite something in you to make you want to take it further and, and get to know it even more that leads me nicely thank you raven <laughs> into the new moon in sagittarius because guys this is a lovely card my goodness and it's all about gaining that optimistic fun side of life again and it's actually an excellent time to start a new course or a new period of study but studying things that you love so some people might see it as like a hobby or something that's just a bit of fun on the side or something like that Ooh, that sounded interesting <laughs> but it's like um really kind of putting your energies into things that make your soul shine i guess like not just doing it because you think you should or oh i've got to upskill for my job so i've got to do a course in this or whatever actually like going out there and thinking do you know what i really love working with crystals see and then you do a course on that because it makes your soul shine you're really interested and you you're loving doing it and you're joining some i don't know online groups or even in person groups of other people who love crystals and you find partnerships and friendships and even loving relationships or even sexual encounters like we said with these kind of people and it's just going to feel really fun and adventurous and mind opening and you know like exploring different ways of looking at this subject it's just like a really good optimistic energetic fiery card if you think of the fiery leo um sacral energy in the in the tarot that's what this kind of is 
um, with these two cards. And then the new moon in Aquarius, again, it's very mind opening, like thinking outside the box, thinking about different ways of looking at things. So I think you're going to just like, it's going to be good for you to learn something totally new, something that you know you really love and enjoy doing, but you've maybe put off or you've been feeling quite low or down or things have been tough for you recently. The next three months, I just think, um, for some reason, like karmic energy is coming round, like, if you, if you work for a charity or you've done real charitable acts, you've been putting yourself out there and helping people, I feel like that energy is being returned to you in the next three months and people are going to start reaching out to you and you're just going to feel, feel the love. It's being aware of that energy, isn't it? It's, mm. it's encouraging what you want to bring in. So if you want to encourage, um, you know, deep, meaningful relationships, you have to go out and actually try to form those deep meaningful relationships yeah. if you want to have someone that you do art with you have to kind of go to these groups and everything and find people like that so mm -hmm. i think that's what that's saying with your shadows and light oracle it reiterates the idea that it's doing things that empower you even scare you a little bit where it's it's not like dangerous but in the it's pushing yourself outside your comfort zone i think doing something a bit different mm. doing something very new so that you can stir up this what seems like stagnant energy i think i already mentioned mm. that you may be feeling a bit kind of just man like what's going on and the thing that you can actually do to encourage something new is to just do something out of the ordinary it can be something little like walking a different way to work or just changing your routine a little bit but it could be something a bit bigger like learning something new or joining a group or mm -hmm. maybe start dating again if that's something you're comfortable with but it's doing something that like we said that's actually genuine to you though something that you really enjoy because you've not only got your throat chakra there you've got your sacral as well and they're both quite good in that way about doing things that are really unique to you mm -hmm. that you really like we said enjoy and when someone thinks of that thing they immediately think of you that kind mm -hmm. of thing rather than doing things you think you should be doing that aren't going to make you comfortable these are going to be things that you actually really really want to do it does seem like through doing that or maybe just generally speaking that you will receive some information you will receive some news maybe or it will just be that kind of aha clarity moment when you are engaging in these activities or you're joining up with these people um someone it might be as simple as someone might say one thing that will suddenly kind of blow your mind mm -hmm. or yeah. will lead you down the rabbit hole of something that you've not thought about before or it will just they'll encourage you to finally do something that you've been meaning to do for quite a while there's also uh, a message to really clean up um, as I say, you know, that stagnant energy that you may have had will be encouraged to move along when you do something new, do something different, but like literally clean, you know, are you, you look at your environment, look at your workspace, mm -hmm. look at yourself and is there anything you can really cleanse out, whether that's energetically with incense or whether that's literally with cleaning it up, how you treat yourself and your workspace says a lot about how you feel about yourself mm -hmm. and your work. You may enjoy your work, but you may wonder why things aren't moving very much or you're not enjoying it as much. And it can be as simple as cleaning it up or maybe relook at if you um, do a service or if you like work for yourself or even just in any work that you do, think about maybe freshening it up a little bit, maybe redo your website or redo, you know, if you've got like a price list, maybe change it a little bit or even up your prices maybe this is spirit's way of saying actually you're underselling yourself but i think maybe a, a new uh, new service you could add or learning something new to add to those mm -hmm. things whatever it is that you i feel like you can really add something to the pot to make it a little bit more interesting to add a bit more flavor maybe that's literally and talking about cooking and maybe you're a chef and that's why that's coming into my head mm -hmm. but um there's so much potential in you there's so much that again with that throat chakra sometimes it's things we're not showing other people we've got it hidden inside us and there's so much there just shouting to come out but maybe you're a little bit shy um and you find it difficult to really 
feel confident in showing that part of you and maybe you have like this amazing talent or this way of seeing things and other people don't really have a clue or only a very small amount of people do so I think it's a spirit's way of saying hopefully you'll you'll get that like I said with the carnelian that courage that drive and fire to say do you know what I'm sick of hiding who I am or what I can do because it could be about you yourself as well that you want to finally embrace who you really are and it's saying yes go out there you know with the summer there's lots of not so much at the moment because at the time of doing this there's still a little bit of things about covid but you know there are a few more kind of pride events certainly this month there's festivals you know a lot more is going on in the warmer months certainly in the northern hemisphere and maybe that's what it is like maybe if you um do you want to go to pride you're finally going to do it full force mm -hmm. you're going to you know dress up and everything and maybe some people will finally feel like they can fully embrace who they are and i really th feel like that's something that's really good for you to do because it'll give you a new approach to your life it will help you to it'll open you up to any issues as well that you've been holding back you know it's almost like um a tidal wave of something where once you open that kind of door to something to let something out suddenly it all comes out mm. and i think <clears throat> excuse me in in this case it's a good thing it's mm. a good thing that you are addressing those things that you've been holding back so let's have a look at your charms. So there's some letters there for you to have a look through. Um, if any of them resonate with you for names or initials of or places or courses or subject matters, anything that jumps out at you, then please do let us know in the comments. It's always lovely to see. Got a John there straight away that I've seen. So oh, yeah. Got a common name. Well, we've actually got the light bulb that's come out, and I think Raven kind of talked a bit about that, about um, just something will happen by following your passions that is just going to make everything sort of make sense to you again. Yeah, like clarity, ideas, yeah. a spark. So we've got um, Friday's all kind of like about love, it could be even self-love. Oh, and we've even got the word love that you've literally just turned mm -hmm. over at the same time. And partnerships and things. So yeah. yeah, there's definitely... Some... In the spiritual union card, didn't we have? And we've got quite a lot of different hearts actually now I'm looking through. And so... the partnership and all. It's definitely a case for you, yeah. like Luna said, um, having a revamp in your love life, whether mm -hmm. that's a partner you're already with possibly even a spouse or it's someone that you will find that will really make things clear and, and make you really feel good about yourself hopefully and probably encourage you as well to do something that you've been meaning to do they'll give you that spark that you've been needing yeah and i did mention about karmic energy didn't i for some reason it kind of just came out with <laughs> sort of i guess intuitively with the aquarius card with saturday there as well and um i just feel like some you guys have got a heart of gold and I think you've felt almost like you haven't deserved such a tough time or you don't know why you've been feeling so low when you've just tried so hard and I think you're just going to feel that shift in energy in the next three months for sure. Um, we've got the alien as well I wonder about that's the feeling like about isolation and um, wanting to like believe in yourself and it just it does feel like you've been holding yourself back almost but once you unleash yourself you'll realize that people are going to love you for you um it, it feels quite a significant three months if you let it be group two definitely yeah i think you will gain a lot of learning um whether that's in a literal sense like we've mentioned or some lessons will will kind of come to you you'll understand why something happened or why you need mm -hmm. to do something or it's, it's all a matter of being brave and courageous and going for something that you really feel like you should be doing um there's a lot here so i did mention did i mention writing i think i mentioned writing but you know there's that maybe there's a book in you maybe that you love poetry and that's something that you are really being encouraged to do or that's the course that you should do creative writing something like that definite sense of there being something within you that you're not showing other people that I don't mean this in a, in a mean way, but you're not being genuine. You're showing you the outside of you isn't necessarily what's on the inside of you. There's so much more of you there. And it comes across as perhaps to some people fake. Um, 
but that's only because it could be out of a place of safety it could be out of a place of feeling like you don't have someone to share that with that you don't belong and that's where mm. that alienation can come in as well I feel so, like we've got um, light workers here who can talk to angels. We've got a couple of angels there, the dragonfly, you know, people who are drawn. I mean, we had the light card actually as well, didn't we? So I feel like you guys are drawn to work in the light. Not to say you can't have a balance, obviously, but light, work, light workers are people who um, shine light for people, you know, and that's what you're driven to do in your life. So it could be some spiritual workers in here who are finally going to start feeling like they're following their true soul purpose. And, and can shine light for people. I need to embrace change, I need for flexibility, I need to maybe think about things in a different way, even totally change your life around, or like we said, do something very, very different to remove that stagnant energy. You even have our permission to be a little bit um, hedonistic, you know, mm -hmm. just do things for pleasure, do things yeah, that fun. totally just make you happy. You know, mm -hmm. maybe it's even the solstice, summer solstice, 21st of June, yeah. maybe something to do with that. You should go somewhere and celebrate that with all your might and just have fun because it could be also that you've been working too hard and it's just time to let your hair down and just yeah. go for it. I think, you know, I definitely had this feeling of something to do with plants, with gardening, with nature. And I feel like that's reiterated that that could be something landscaping. Um, maybe you just want to buy some plants or you want to do something to do with herbs and learn more about that. And I really think you should you should go for that. There is a need to. We, we always think about slaying your dragon. So there's those things that are in the back of your mind that are and that could be your fears as well, that are whispering and telling you, don't do that. That's dangerous and um that's not the actual voice that's keeping you safe that's the ones that are keeping you back so either you may have been working on that trying to see the difference between your intuition and your voice of fear or that's something you need to work on is when you trust in your intuition you know that that's the thing that's keeping you safe and that's generally the thing that'll say no really don't do that that's silly whereas your voice of fear is just pretense it's ego and it's saying telling you not to do it because it you think it's keeping you safe, but as I say, it's just holding you back. And I feel like that's the case because there's a definite need for, for cutting things off for maybe even people. Well, I was going to say um, there's a little tweety pie in your life. Maybe that's going to expose them. Well, I'll not say who's going to expose themselves in the next three months. Hopefully they're not. Gonna show... <laughs> what I mean is <laughs> they're going to show their true colours because tweety pie always comes across as sweet, but they're quite malicious, manipulative people. It could be that it's quite apparent who that is in your life in the next three months. They're going to slip up and see the wrong thing or just something about them. You're going to see it different side to them I think. I did mention right at the beginning that there's a possibility of an ending of a relationship. It may have already happened or it may happen. Maybe you were in the middle of a divorce or a separation and I think that's reiterated here. And with that comes often a new lease of life. You know, this is someone who I'm not saying it's all their fault, but because we compromise sometimes in so much in a relationship and if you compromise to the point of losing yourself you may be at the point where you need to refine yourself you need to remember who you are and that might come with having a haircut it might come with changing your uh, how will you look it might be doing something fun and um and i think that's really reiterated whatever it is maybe it's a long-term something it could be a job anything and it's suddenly over and now you're kind of like what now and it's like anything anything mm -hmm. you want you are now in a position where you can choose whatever it is you want to do next you can travel you can like I say have some fun go to a festival try something new um plant those seeds into whatever it is that you want to blossom also there is a couple of iterations of that already having happened something you've already planted some time ago you'll start to see the fruits of your labor you'll start to see some results which is really really good but you need to remember not to follow the crowd, not to follow what other people want you to mm -hmm. do. Remember working on that throat chakra, being genuine and assertive. And yes, this is really what I want to do. But at the same time, when you are doing things that make you feel you know, free and have a different perspective on life, you also don't feel have to feel the pressure to rush things, to know exactly what you want what you're going to do next you know you can take your time with it and experiment and explore till you get to a point where you think actually yeah this really fits it's spending gifting yourself time just for you even though things about 
unions and possible relationships have come up. I feel like it's more about how it will then make you feel, how it will make you see yourself more clearly. That union even could just be within yourself, your shadow, your light, maybe shadow work is something you have or will work on or your masculine, your feminine. And I, I just feel like things will really start clicking into place and you'll start seeing yourself really um, for who you really are and be prepared to show that to the world. So if you would like a more personalised reading, please do get in touch. All of our contact details are just in the description below. If you've enjoyed the reading, please do like the video and leave us a comment. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and that'll keep you in touch with all of our readings. Thank you so much for watching. Hi group three, the crystal you chose is Dragonstone. This stone is all about activating and unlocking the heart. This suggests that you have some heart healing, you're going through grief, you've had some trauma, some loss, and through this it seems that you may be putting walls up, finding it difficult to connect with others, to open yourself up to love, to maybe even trusting in yourself or others because of what's happened or you're just afraid of what might happen if you do open yourself up again. This helps you to reconnect with that feeling, that feeling of community, of um, because it connects your mind, heart and your soul. So you could be feeling quite disjointed as well, not really sure where to put yourself. It could be that you are feeling a little bit lost, hopeless, and as I say, if you're going through grief as well, or something's happened where you now don't really know where your future lies, it can leave you in that kind of limbo moment. And I feel like some of you might be in that point. But this crystal really encourages you to, you think of a dragon, you think of fire, you think of strength, you think of courage. And this is what it's really encouraging you to do. It also makes me always makes me think of ancient knowledge of wisdom mm -hmm. and digging into that, knowing that even if things feel hopeless and you feel lost, actually, you've got all the answers within you. You've just got to believe in yourself and have the courage to as well, not ignore what you know or what you know you need to do and actually go through with it. Because sometimes we just want to ignore that answer because it's too hard or it's difficult to face. It's also has a strong karmic effect. So if you use it, I feel like it's like being aware of the energy you're giving out. It's being aware of um, having, like empowering yourself and realizing that you can change things. If you really want to, you have the power to change things. There are things you maybe can do to make things better or to encourage something new into your life or to make yourself feel better. Um, especially when it comes to manifesting something you want Maybe you, if you have especially been through a loss or you're, you've been going through quite a difficult time, it's thinking about what you do want next. What do you want to bring in? And then taking the practical steps to towards what actually could bring that in. OK, so the next three months, group three, I mean, I feel like you guys are the classic people who tell everyone you're fine and you're not. So let's go for forewarned because if you continue down the path of bottling things up, telling everyone you're fine, battling through and keeping it all inside, it isn't going to be a pretty three months for you. What we're being encouraged to tell you by spirit is that if you have been bottling things up, if you are struggling, if you do need some heart healing and heart support, you need to reach out and get the support you need. It takes a lot of courage to admit you're not okay. So the next three months, you've got a choice to make. Do you be honest and tell people you're not okay and that you need their help and support and what you need from them to help you? And then that, in turn, will help you through in the best way possible. Or do you continue suffering in silence, bottling it up and just continue feeling not so good? And it, it's kind of like saying it's it's really up to you, but the, the trauma around the heart area is really going to start impacting you, maybe even physically in the next three months if you're not careful. So really start releasing those um, issues and there is a real need. Find a support group, find a therapist, find somebody that you can just turn to and trust and just let it all out. Because you may be feeling okay now or thinking you can get through it, because it already feels like you have a lot, you've gone through a lot in your life or you're 
someone who grins and bears it um and there's no doubt you are strong really strong especially you know you're resilient and as i say you've probably got through so much you think i can get through this i can get through this and you may even be someone who's felt like you can only depend on yourself or mm -hmm. you couldn't really confide in people you didn't really have support maybe you are someone who keeps themselves to themselves quite a lot and this is really encouraging you to not do that anymore to to reach out to people as luna said to reach out for help or to just maybe spend some time talking to people who can understand where you're coming from especially when it comes to mental health or as i said with the stone with grief maybe you've lost someone it, they they could have passed or it could be that you um something's ended and you may be struggling to deal with it mm -hmm. and there's no um kind of rule book as to how long you can grieve for something and it doesn't have to be that someone's died for you to grieve it can be anything where that it's no longer in your life you can grieve for a, a job loss you know it's a change in your life as i mentioned your future has changed and it's difficult to know what to do next and you're in the middle of that grieving process you're yet to get to the other side of it and that may even surprise you you might think actually i thought i was okay but now i'm thinking about it i'm really not um because this sudden change has just really knocked me and you need to share that you need to share if you're having money difficulties you don't have to shoulder all these burdens on your own you may even have a partner um but you keep everything to yourself because you don't want to worry them or you don't want to um you know you want to hold all the burdens onto yourself but it's just not healthy if you really don't want to share it with them at least find some sort of expert or like Luna said a therapist or just someone you can talk to without judgment or anything like that just so you can get it off your chest maybe a diary would help as well to get some of your thoughts and feelings down so you're not holding it all in um because you don't have to just get on with it the, there's courage as Luna said in admitting when you need help in admitting when something isn't right that something needs to change and it also does suggest that this is a repeated pattern I said about the karmic and there's also the, the kind of memories of love it comes with things from the past so it it could be that something that keeps happening so it could be that you keep having money troubles or you keep losing your job or you keep having relationships that aren't very good for you so there's lessons there to learn there's something you need to let go of something you need to reflect on so it doesn't keep happening and that could come from your self-worth with that heart chakra based stuff do you give yourself enough self-love do you give yourself um time to even look after yourself to care about yourself and that in turn may then help those cycles not keep coming around and you know you're worth more than that it could also be that you are missing someone it's could have happened ages ago but there's still maybe some sort of an energetic connection to it could like i said say that they sorry could be that they passed and i think especially a sibling could be a, a brother sister something like that um or someone you would consider that close or it could be that you as i said they don't have to have passed it could be an ex it could be someone that you're no longer in contact with anymore it could be that it was someone who you were very close to or that you felt maybe even was a, a soulmate, you know, part of your soul family. But now you maybe don't have that connection with someone anymore and that can make you feel quite lonely. And as I say, it's hard to open yourself back up to people because if you're afraid of losing them in some way or if you're afraid of feeling used or not understood. But I really feel like spirit is urging you to do that. Tentative baby steps are fine, but just taking that first step or admitting that there's something up is is brilliant and that's maybe the point that you're being encouraged to get to so the full moon in scorpio i mean if you have a scorpio sun or moon placement you guys you definitely take things to your heart center and that's where trauma lives um if you don't then if you're in this group i think it's suggesting that there is some trauma living in your heart area and heart center that needs to be released it could be to do with a, a grudge as raven said it could be someone from your past you're still kind of energetically connected to and you think about them quite a lot or you still harbor resentment about 
the way it ended or um, how the past or something like that and there's a grudge, an argument, some sort of energy that still feels quite intense for you when you think about it. So there's some healing to be doing there. It could be in the next three months that something comes up that triggers that. So it could be somebody talking about them, it could be them bumping into them, it could be a memorial date or something like that. Something in the next three months that triggers this person, this grudge, this argument, this person and you know is going to come back around for you and then that's going to maybe trigger you feeling so low but it's saying don't bottle that up you need to reach out for support because the full moon in Pisces definitely suggests that you could look for coping mechanisms in the wrong places so instead of turning to sort of food or alcohol drugs or any other coping mechanisms that aren't healthy it could be that you fall into old bad patterns because maybe you did those things that's attached to this old person memory situation and when it's triggered you could fall back into old habits quite quickly so you're gonna have to be quite um savvy about meditating using your intuition being grounded have a really good balance know who you are now and that you're not that person anymore and that you are a lot more wise you can dig deep and just figure out what it is that is going to get you through truly get you through um something that could be difficult in the next three months it could actually be past life based because if you have connections with lessons that you need to learn especially around the deaths of your past life or the habits that led to that yeah um it could be that you are tapping into that. It could be that something has happened or you've been to a place, something's triggered it and you're not really sure why. You mm. might be having flashbacks, you might be having dreams, but you've now connected to that life and it may be impacting your mental health, but it may be making you turn to those poor habits, especially if you're like, I never drink and suddenly I am. Mm. And I think that's the expert then you need to turn to, a past life therapist so you can work out where that might be coming from, especially like I said, if it's sudden and out of the blue. We do do that if you're interested, but we can point you to other people if you'd prefer. But then you can decide, you can work through, um, get rid of that and do a soul fragment retrieval as well, which is bringing back parts of your soul that you've lost during those times. And then you'll feel a lot mm -hmm. more whole. Um, with your shadow and light oracle, it does say that you may be going through some real health challenges at the moment we certainly talked about your mental health a lot but it could be your heart health literally mm -hmm. um it could be about anything you may even be you may have cancer or something a terminal illness it may be that you are recovering but it, you're really struggling or you are in remission or something like that i think in a lot of sense um you have or will have an experience where it's kind of made you realize that life can be quite short and it may be that you are now kind of freaking out a little bit about the the realness of what it is and what life can be and instead of embracing that and doing something then to be like oh well life is short so i gotta do something you've kind of gone the opposite where it's all consuming mm -hmm. and overwhelming and you may even be a little bit afraid of endings and death because perhaps you've gone through a lot of loss and or you are worried about your own health and so then it's like you find it difficult to start anything because you know that you can't have a start without an end something will always you know everything's temporary so everything ends eventually and so if you don't start something it can't end if you don't start a relationship you can't lose them if you don't start a friendship they can't let you down you know and it's all these different ideas that you've built up over the years maybe even lives where you actually it's like saying if i don't do anything i can't fail mm -hmm. and that could be another example if something hasn't worked out so now you're being encouraged to take action and think about what needs to be changed i think i already mentioned that and it's especially with your health, there's no denying that there's something you need to do to really improve your health in some way, whether that's mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, there's something about you that you, I think, know isn't very good for you. 
but it's just really hard. It could be an addiction, so that makes it even harder. So that's why you need to seek out help. But it could also just be that it's, a, it's changing a habit. It's really hard to suddenly not do that mm -hmm. or not to turn to that when you have done that before or to turn to a certain person because it could be your relationships as well especially if you lost someone who you would consider your soulmate and then every relationship since has been a bit crap or you've just gone with anyone because you'd rather feel something than nothing and you're worth a lot more than that whatever the situation is your current situation has, has served you and like I said, maybe it'll be just in the next few months that you'll realise that actually you've been neglecting yourself or the whatever it is that's happening isn't good for you. I hope you do get to that point and you can see that, you know, you change your prior priorities. You can see what you need to do for yourself and towards your healing. You are your top priority right now. Nothing else. Your other card also reiterates this kind of sentimentality you have for the past not wanting to let go, especially over, I think I mentioned before about a breakup you might have had with a friend, someone you don't talk to anymore. Um, something that used to be an old way of being and you're being really nostalgic about it. There's nothing wrong with enjoying the past memories and, and even like I said, past lives where I myself have done a regression and I've been really almost consumed with particularly my last life. And, but with that, you're not, living this life you're living in the past and whether that's the past in the life you're currently living or, or otherwise you are always living in a different time you're not being mindful you're not enjoying the moment mm. and so i feel like that's what spirit's encouraging you to do is to find a way to to honor the past especially if it's a person maybe plant a tree or, or make a garden of some kind or do an activity to honor them it could be that this is an anniversary of some kind coming up in the next three months and so it's really raw at this time of year of a particular person's passing or a particular event or a trauma that's happened and, it, and every year it always makes you feel a certain way and this has to be personal this has to be up to you how and when you do it if you're ready but I do feel like spirit is saying to stop this cycle happening, to stop it going over and over in your mind and you dreading this time of year, do something that can help you heal and move on from it. Not because you're forgetting it happened or you're denying it happened, but because you're acknowledging it happened, but that it doesn't define you or it doesn't make you and like everything else isn't revolving around that one event or that one person. So as I say, look forward instead to the present and the near future instead of putting all your effort into what was. So let's have a look at your charms. So just have a look through the letters. There could be some initials there that indicate who we could be talking about or even yourself or places or anything really that you're particularly drawn to. Um, I mean, I see we've got the I Love You to the Moon and Back, which does usually indicate somebody that you've lost alongside a black rose. So it does feel like something or someone that you've lost um, is creating that black rose, is creating that blockage from stopping you from moving forward. I, th I do feel like the next three months, there's something that's going to trigger something that happened in the past. And you're going to have to just do that digging deep um, to realize the love inside of you to understand how strong you are to believe in yourself i mean with the tree it could be family family based trauma something to do with somebody in your family very much especially because the elephants there as well yeah i mean i think of the tree as well and i do think like the deep roots that go down so it could be that be indicating like the past life um um the past yeah. life healer needed there as well. I mentioned about ancient wisdom as well, didn't I? Yeah. Past lives, mm -hmm. very much so. Um, I, th I really think you could benefit from doing some therapy in past lives because I do feel like a lot of this is rooted there. And not to say it hasn't also happened in this life, but as I say, there's that continuation because something hasn't been dealt with and you really need to do something to do with that. Um, health come up again, mm. there's definitely... I don't want to worry you i don't want to kind of make you panic because the last thing you need right now it seems but if you are concerned about your health in some way definitely get checked 
if you're being warned about you know you need to change your lifestyle or this is going to happen please please listen mm -hmm. or if you yourself just know do you know what this isn't very good for me please get some help mm -hmm. if you need it or confide in someone you trust and you know that they are going to give you support as i said it does seem like a group of some kind of that's something you're comfortable with would be a really good idea for you because it's like it's they all know where you're coming from. They can identify with you. It's hard talking to someone who doesn't get it, that they haven't been through it, because as much as they can sympathise, they can't really understand because they haven't been there. Mm -hmm. So when you're in another group with people who have had similar experiences or they have similar issues or addictions, then they can say, yep, yeah, I, I hear you and I know I'm struggling too and, and mm -hmm. you can support each other. So that's a really good idea. Having strength there again, you're so, so strong. But as I say, you don't have to be on the outside. You don't have to deny that you need help. You don't have to. It's not a weakness. It's strength in itself saying, I'm not coping or, um, you know, this isn't working. Maybe that's the other thing, too, that that's it's knowing when something needs to end. It's knowing when something needs to be gotten rid of or needs to die, if you like, mm -hmm. you know, that's really hard sometimes to admit when something's run its course. And I feel like that's been said during this reading. It does seem like it's going to be, I, I wish we could give you better news, but it does seem like it's going to be quite a difficult few months. That's not to say, I wouldn't use the word bad, just maybe difficult, quite a lot of work. It's going to be quite a lot of effort. But in that comes great reward, comes great abundance. That can be financial, it, but abundance just means more of something you want. So remember that karmic effect mm -hmm. that I said you're having at the moment. What do you want more of? Not what do you want, like concentrating on what you do want rather than what you don't want. If you're yeah. concentrating always on the lack, on the things that aren't working, on you're worrying, and you have these fears that you need to address and you're putting all your energy into what might happen but hasn't, Instead, you can use that same energy and actually it takes a lot less effort and it doesn't hurt your health either on the things you do want and having a more positive mindset. That isn't to say that you can't have down moments, that you can't feel scared or worried. Of course you can, but it's working towards not having that impact your health. And I think that's the issue here. It's not that, oh, you can't, you have to be positive all the time. It's saying that you personally in this group it's really harming you, whatever it is that's happening in your life at the moment. It may be that you find some kind of relaxation in a creative um, talent or hobby of some kind, especially knitting. Maybe that's a group you could join, but it's also kind of about mending. It's about bringing things together. It's about um, doing something to occupy your time, I think. It's finding something that's a healthier outlet. So like we said, rather than turn to things that are, don't have very good long term impact on you, turn into things that instead is positive, creative, mm -hmm. inspiring and seeing that actually you are worth more than maybe you're currently giving yourself. It's important because I feel like you're really, really hard on yourself. I feel like you put yourself down quite a lot. Um, I think some of you had to have some issues around food and you might find it difficult you might even have um disordered eating and things where you know one minute you're you're eating something that you know overeating maybe and then the next you're feeling guilty and bad about it there's just so much in your heart that you're holding on to um that really needs to be released addressed and a total change is needed and i like i said it's not going to happen overnight and it is difficult but this is urging you to to make this change and it it is a big one um you're so lovely i can tell that this group are unfortunately this happens quite a lot those of purest of heart quite often have the hardest time because you feel things so deeply mm. and because of that you take everything on board and you hold on to it even things that aren't even your own you know you might see someone else in pain and it's like you're in pain and and then maybe that's also something else to work on is is detaching yourself from other people's problems not taking on other people's burdens or taking things too personally um you know being careful about social media and the news and things like that or how, um like violent programs and all that kind of thing because actually they could be having an impact on you your body doesn't realize it's not real it doesn't realize it's not happening to you at that moment 
and that stress trigger you know it feels like um excitement but actually it's it's stress your body's in a fight or flight moment when you're watching something scary or you're on roller coasters or something and in small amounts that's fine but if you do it a lot or you take on other people's burdens and worries maybe you yourself are a therapist or something like that but actually it could be taking its toll on you a little bit if you're doing a lot of healing work maybe you're you're a healer you're a doctor like i say a therapist maybe even a teacher but it, they are such difficult places to be in because it's like well who cares for the carer who makes sure that the teacher the healer is okay who's healing you and so i feel like it's now you might even feel a bit hypocritical where you're like oh my gosh you know I'm telling these people to say you're a nutritionist and you're like you need to eat this because it's good for you and then here I am you know eating this thing I know is not good for you or whatever situation and it can be difficult not to feel that way but it doesn't mean you have to beat yourself up about it it just means that maybe you too need support everyone does it doesn't matter how learned you are how much studying you've done how much of an expert you are in your field you still always need support in whatever capacity um, is right for you Maybe find some healing in music, especially piano, it seems. Maybe that's that calming that's needed. Maybe you yourself, that's a, something that you like to do. And it's, again, getting into something that's more of a healthy habit. Take a holiday, get some grounding, um, spend some time in nature. It could be also that you are someone to do with law, someone to do with law enforcement. And again, you're an advisor of some kind and you yourself maybe need that advice. And that's okay it's okay to ask for help also it may be that you are in the middle of some sort of court battle and, and you're struggling with that um and still everything still applies it's about making sure that you let people know that you need that support instead of thinking that you have to hold it all in and if you need our support then we're here to listen so please do reach out if you'd like more personalized reading please do get in touch as well all of our contact details are just in the description below if you've enjoyed that reading please do like the video and leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and that'll keep you in touch with all of our readings thank you so much for watching